Motor rooms are dangerous places. Don't touch anything unless you know what you are doing. Some of the relays in the cabinets have 415 volts going through them. If you touch them, they will kill you. Through my experience of relays, electronics and lifts, I know what to touch and what not to touch. I have also been shown by a lift engineer. This express lift is different from my previous one. It has an up and down landing call compared to just one on my previous lift. And it has two speeds. Here are the core push buttons. So on the this side we have the ground floor and that is an up button. That's an up button on the first floor, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And the seventh floor that is a down button. Down on the sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, first, and then the ground is the up button only. These are the carpool buttons. That's the ground floor. Up to the seventh floor. So I'm now going to send the lift down to the ground floor. So it's currently on the seventh floor. Uh, actually, no, it's this side. That's the one. Seventh floor is there. Sixth. And then that's a different type of switch. So that's fifth, fourth, third, second, first, ground. So it's currently pressing the one on this side. So off it goes. Door close. My first experiment. The lift is on the ground floor. I am now going to push the lift car top floor button. So I'm going to send it from the ground up to the top floor and halfway up I'm going to give it a down call. And what should happen is the lift should go up, the collective state of the lift is up and it should not stop for a down button. So let's give it a go. Top floor, a down button on the fourth floor, based on So this experiment, it should not stop on the fourth floor. didn't stop on the fourth floor and the button is still pushed. Top floor button's gone out. It should now go back down. There it goes. experiment. The lift is on the ground floor. I'm now going to give it a down call halfway up and then a down call at the top. Now this experiment is to see if the lift will go up to get my down call here or it will continue to get my down call at the top after I've selected it here. So I'm going to do this one, wait for it to start up, then this one and if the logic is good, it should ignore that one and then go up to the top and then get that one on the way down to go back down again. Let's give it a go. Down call on the, what's this? So that's ground one, two, three. Let's do the fourth floor. Down button on the fourth floor. 
lift starts up. Okay. Down cord on the top floor. And that is interesting. So now it will come down and get my um, fourth floor cool. experiment relays 71 and 72 I think they're down here there we go all right relay 71 means there are calls above the lift car relay 72 means there are calls below the lift car so we're going to take the lift halfway up now so I'm going to take it up to the fourth floor The lift is halfway up the shaft. I'm now going to give it a call above the lift car and then give it a call below the lift car to see these relays. Give it a call above the lift car on the sixth floor and give it a call on the first floor. Yep. There's no calls above the lift car now unless I give it a call on the top floor. Here we go, it's back on again. So there is a further call above the lift car and it should continue up. It did. Off goes my top floor call button. So there are still calls below the lift car. Doors closing. There's no longer any calls above the lift car until I do this. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Eighty five is the directional relay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it some down calls and then I'm going to give it some up calls. It's currently on the top floor. So I'm going to give it a couple of down calls. Um, let's give it the ground first, second, and third floor down. And then I'm going to give it a couple of up calls. That one and that one. Directional relay. It's picked up its first call and <laughs> a bit of tape on there. He's about to get his next call. Second going to the second floor now. second floor has been cancelled so there are no car calls and it should go back up and get the up calls on the fifth and sixth floor there we go it's now going up collective state is now up so if I can still looking for upward going calls and I've given it a down call on the top floor now so it's now on six it's now going to go up to seven and the collective state should change to down, which means that relay is off. There we go. Oh, it's done it already, look, there you go. Collective state is now down. Cool. Fifty-one is high speed. Fifty-two is low speed. And this one here, low speed choke. 
spelled C H O K E. That's high speed. Then low speed. Cool. Uh, is it quite simple? Relay 1 is motor up, relay 2 is motor down. Relay 6 has to come on to give these two power. It saves, uh, if there was a fault and this relay come on and the lift started moving when it wasn't expecting to, this one has to come on at the same time. So in other words, it stops the lift from moving if it's not supposed to be moving. Doors are opening. Let's give it a call. And let's watch these relays. Relay. Low speed. And it stops. Let's send it back down a few floors. Give it a car call. So now we should get relay two, four down, and six come on. So it should be high speed to start with. And it's going down, that's the uh, supply. When it gets to the floor, low speed, low speed. That comes on, save it from sparking, I think. It's gonna press the ground floor button. <laughs> Did you see that? Someone is actually currently, inside. someone's actually currently inside the lift. He got in and you press the ground floor button and that is the car push button uh, so at the time when you press that button this one come on and what it does is it, it, it cuts down one of these timers to make the doors close um, immediately My conclusion is, when a lift is called to a floor, it doesn't have a destination. If the directional relay is on, the lift is expecting to go up, and it will do so until relay 71, which is the calls above lift relay, turns off, or it finds an up call on the way. When both 71 and 72 are off, and there are no calls, the directional relay can change to match the landing call direction. Pushing a lower car call turns relay 72 on, which is the call's below car relay, and presuming the directional relay is off, the car will travel down until relay 72 turns off, and there are no longer any car calls or landing calls below the lift. Summary is, it's pretty basic relay logic. No destinations, just keep going until the relevant relay turns off.